Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the Laplace transformation. Today we will discuss about what is the division by T rule. How you can solve the Laplace transformation by division by myself, Dr. Gar, which is working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. You can simply follow this link for finding the various videos. So what is the division by T rule is that if you have the Laplace transformation of this f of t and if you divide this f of t by uh, small t then it's, it is nothing but the integration of whatever you have the answer provided this limit exists. So that's the proof is very simple what you can do is it is given to you here by the definition of the Laplace transformation it is here. Now since we need the integration from s to infinity so you can integrate from s to infinity on the both side here this is the function with respect to s this is the function with respect to t only it means we can change the integration of here because s and t are independent variable you can change the integration here you can't calculate the value what is the integration of this part is you can easily integrate this as you get here now since this is with respect to t so it's not a constant you can write like this way so what is that this is the you can compare this with the help of here f of t is nothing but f of t divided by t what is that this is nothing but Laplace of here so that means Laplace transformation of this is nothing but integration of here that's a simple quiet proof of this how we can solve the problems are there you can see we will discuss these examples in this video this is divided by t divided by t and so on this is also divided by t and here but here they are not asking in this question this and this they are not asking about the Laplace transformation but you can solve this with the help of the Laplace provided integration is from 0 to infinity this part is satisfied this is true this is true but if the limit is from 1 to infinity then this these three problems cannot be solved with the help of Laplace transforming so let's see how you can solve them now since there is a uh, this is a divided by t rule so we can do, do that integration from s to infinity of Laplace of here what is the Laplace of this all of you know that what is the Laplace of the constant quantity is k by s so what is the Laplace of the s is 1 by s and so on what is the integration of the 1 by s is nothing but the log s and so on so if you substitute infinity it's infinity minus infinity but you can simplify them you can take half as a common so log of s minus of log of here what i can write that this i can write as of this so log of s minus log of here i can write like this way you can substitute the value infinity so it's infinity by infinity you can take the differentiate you will get as the here of this now this is the right answer of this problem also you can easily check that whenever s approaches infinity your whatever the answer you get that will always goes to the zero that's the required task either. look at the another question is there again this is divided by t sign so what you can do is you can integrate this with respect to here what is the laplace of the s of, uh, 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 sign of t is nothing but here what is the integration of this this is nothing but my tan inverse of s from here what is the tan inverse infinity is nothing but pi, pi by 2 this is the tan inverse of s you know what is that this is the right answer also you know that this is nothing but my cot inverse of this look at the another question again this is divided by t so you can take the laplace of this remaining portion how you can take the sine inverse so you can use the formula of the cos of 2a this is of here now you can find the value of the sine inverse of this you will get right here 1 by 2 is the integration constant so you can take this laplace of the 1 is nothing but my 1 by s laplace of the cos is nothing but s square plus of a square you can integrate them here. now what is the integration of the 1 by s is log s you can take 1 by 2 again a common so this is log of s square minus log of s square plus 1 which is now similar as that of the first quotient so you will integrate them you will take the limits you will get the right answer now look at this question again so now again it's a divided by t so what you can do is you have to find the laplace of this how you can find the laplace of this now since this is exponential part so you can use the shifting first theorem for the easy calculation you compute the laplace of the sine of 3t which is nothing but here so by the shifting first theorem what is the laplace of this is replacing s with the s minus a a is my minus of 2 so s by 2 how you can integrate this value so what is that this is nothing but my 3 is outside so what is that this is here so you know that what is the integration of this i can write this as a 3 of square this is nothing but my 1 by a tan inverse s plus 2 by 3 so i can write this as a 1 by a of this so if you integrate infinity if you substitute infinite a pi by 2 if you in, uh, substitute s is there this is nothing but my cot inverse 
look at here now they are not asking about the find the laplace transform but here if whenever there is a limit of 0 to infinity then we can use this laplace transformation you can see this is a divided by t so we will try to solve this first part here that is by this what is the laplace of the cos is we can write here what is the integration of this this is nothing but the log if i multiply by if i divide it and multiply by 2 on both side now it's a log of this part and this is nothing but my log of this part so i can write this off here so a minus b i can write like this way so if you substitute infinity you will get this expression now since this is a laplace transformation so i can write this of 0 to infinity e raised to power minus s of this expression like here this is the for this is the value of the laplace of this now you can compare this value with of here what is the value of the s s is nothing but my 1 so it means if I substitute s is 1 in this given expression, what will happen? If I substitute s is 1, it is ln 5 upon 10. This is 1 by 2. That is the required proof of this problem. So remember that whenever this is a 0 to infinity, then only you can use the Laplace transform. Otherwise, not. Again, you can see this is a divided by sign and its a limits are my 0 to infinity. So what you can do is you can start from here. Laplace transformation here you can integrate them what is the integration of this is log and I can write here what is the infinity is infinity by infinity so you can take the L of Prader rule it's a log of 1 that's a 0 minus of log s plus 3 upon s plus 6 I can adjust this negative I can write this value as of log s plus 6 upon s plus 3 now again I can use this one by the definition of this e raised to power minus s t of e raised to power minus of this and here now this value is nothing but my this value I can adjust the negative now you can compare this value with here what is that what is the value of the s is nothing but my 0 if you substitute s is 0 so the right answer is my log of 2 look at the last example are there but here you can see there is no divided by t sign but still you can see that this is a limit from the 0 to infinity then we can solve this with the help of the Laplace transform what you can do is since this is exponential part we can skip this part and try to find the Laplace of this and after that we can compare the s as of the 3 since this is a multiply by t rule so we can use them as a multiplication rule this is power 1 so it's a derivative of this what is the Laplace of the sine t is 1 1 by here so what is the derivative of this now you can write this in terms of the Laplace transform it is nothing but my here what is the value of the s if you compare this what is the value of the s are there so i can substitute s is my 3 you will get the right answer of this that is a 6 upon s is my 3 so it's a 9 plus 1 10 so it's my 6 by 100 is 3 by 50 is the right answer so this is the way you can solve this uh, integration problem with the help of the laplace in a very simple manner we will see some now in the next class on the differentiation of the laplace transformation till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos Best of luck students, happy learning.